Alright tubers, here's a little update on the Murray. 12 and a half horsepower, 40 inch cut. Taking that little gear solicit gear steering gear thing off. I think the back gear is okay, even though I took it off the old one. It's really kind of a pain. But this one here has these little washers that set down in here. Anyway, there's two bolts holds it together. And I don't know if you can see that, but those teeth are completely stripped off of there. This is the one off of the horde mower. Teeth look pretty good on it. So I'm hoping it's just a matter of changing that. Um, I've already... Oh, come on. Focus, you stupid phone. Anyway, I've already got... Uh, that off the other mower um i'm gonna put this on like i said it was just two bolts these two right here where my hand is one in that big opening right there it looks like a upside down frown and then that one there those washers right there go on it and then those bolts there's one there and one on the other side that goes through it I'm going to put that on there, and I'll bring it back, and we'll see if this works. All right, Cooper. We got that back in there. Let's see if we can widen, widen out. There we go. Those go in just like that. This comes over here and hooks right on top of that little knuckle. I don't know if you can see it. That little knuckle. So we're going to try to pop that back on there as soon as I get the steering set. And I'll bring you back. Alright tubers, it's going to be a little more complicated. As you can tell, that front wheel right there is kind of leaning inward. So what's happened, I don't know if you can see it, the front axle right there at the tip of my finger. It's kind of wallered out so I'll bring you back here to the horde I'm going to go back here to the little horde pile behind the barn and it looks like I'm going to have to the gear thing, the metal plate with the teeth fix that but because of the front wheel being wallered out it means that it's not gonna steer as you can see from this one see it's not wallered out so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to rob this front axle from the horde pile so i robbed the plate and everything off of that didn't need everything didn't need the steering shaft i had to take the steering wheel off um it's a couple of bolts right there, I think it was those. Yeah, that skinny, skinny one right. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Anyway, that skinny one there, long skinny one, the one with the red head on it, a little skinnier one. They were what held the uh, blade uh, engagement rod and the steering shaft in, and then the rest of them held the uh, plate in. But luckily I didn't need the steering rod, so I robbed it off of here for no reason. But I robbed it because I thought I might need it. But I didn't, so that fixed that. Now we're just going to have to yank this front axle off of here. And put it on there because, as you can see, it's not leaning as bad. That one seems like it might. Looks like it, but I think it's the ground and the fact that the... There's a block under that one, I think. Kind of makes it look like it's leaning, but put a motor on it and it won't be leaning. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and rob that. Probably won't show you all that. I'll probably go ahead and take it off. It's just held on with that bolt and that bolt and then a little uh, Carter key like thing holding that rod and that rod that connects the two together um 
and then of course that rod that comes from up there where that part I took off comes down and hooks up here at the top so that'll go with it so anyways um, I won't even have to take those two uh, Carter keys out all I'm gonna have to do is basically unbolt two because I'll leave that connected and just swap it as one whole piece anyway I'm gonna do that and um, once I do that, then I'll bring y'all back. But like I said, that plate that I took off did help that. And I'll show y'all that in the video when I come back. Thanks for watching. There will be a part two to this. So keep an eye out for part two.